Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, in the last video that I made about the Last of Us series, I said that part two could have been good, and it could have been. And I'm going to go into that in a little more detail on this video. All right, so the first thing I have to address is something I missed when I was making the second video. Uh, when Ellie gets back to her house, Dina's gone, and she took everything from the house. And I gotta say, that's a pretty impressive feat, actually. She took all the stuff, all the sheep, and the baby without a moving truck. One girl? Damn! But anyways, no, it's it's kind of sad, really, because um, Ellie's going through, you know, this traumatic whole situation, this whole year for her has just been terrible. And yeah, I get her girlfriend's pissed, but then she just leaves anyways. And it, it goes back to the first game when uh, Ellie was talking to Sam and Sam asked her, aren't you afraid? And Ellie's like, well, I'm afraid of ending up alone. And then also in the first game, when she tells Joel, she says, everybody has either died or left me except for you. And yeah, so she ends up totally alone. And she can't even play guitar anymore, I don't think, because Abby bit off two of her fingers. So it's a really sad ending. All right. So going back to the point of this video, uh, first thing that comes to my mind is don't kill Joel. But, you know, let's, let's say let's say we have to kill Joel. Let's say, you know, you know he's got to go. He's got to die. He was a bad man, even though he really wasn't. We got to kill him. Okay, so start off the game right after he kills Abby's dad. Start off the game right here where you play as Abby or whatever it is. And go to the part where she finds her dad dead. And then what they could have done is they could have made a whole game just about Abby. And it could have been what happened to the Fireflies right after Joel. And it could have been, you know, how they joined the WLF in Washington and then how she found out this information about where Joel is in Jackson. And then it could have been about her and her friends going to hunt Joel down and her and her friends, you know, kind of training, especially her uh, training so that they can kill him. And, you know, maybe stuff happens to you know maybe they went out with a big group and you know some got picked off by infected maybe there was an accident maybe some of them got killed by hunters and we could have more on this abby and owen story and then the player could be like oh man who's owen gonna pick is he gonna pick abby or is he gonna pick mel and all this stuff and we'll say the game could end you know right when they find jackson right when owen is showing uh abby like hey here's the city and that's where the game could end and then the third game could start and you're playing as Joel and Ellie again and it could be about Abby and her friends you know infiltrating Jackson and then maybe they let more fireflies in to attack Jackson and it ends up being uh like what happened in the village but inside Jackson I think that would have been pretty cool okay so let's say let's say we don't want to make a whole separate game let's say we just want to do what we have with the last of us part two okay so they should have you start out the game playing as Abby. Like, you don't know he killed Joel. You go through her whole thing in Washington and you find out that, like, her friends are being killed off. And you're like, who's killing them off? And then you get to the part with uh, Tommy. And you're like, that looks like Tommy. As he um, kills Manny. And you're like, oh, man. Is, you know, Joel, Tommy, and Ellie after Abby and her friends? You know, what happened? So then you skip ahead to right here, and you know this is where the Abby part would end. You'd say, oh, here's Ellie. And then, you know, let's say they never said Joel's name. So you still kind of are like, well, what's going on? And then you switch over, and you're playing as Ellie now, and you find out what happened, that Abby killed Joel. And then you go through Ellie's part, and you're killing all of Abby's friends, who you now actually kind of care about. And you're like, oh, man. And, you know, maybe, you f maybe you're happy about this. Maybe you feel bad about this. And then... The part where uh, Abby and Ellie have their fight and, you know, Abby gets away. You play as Ellie again and you're like, you have mixed feelings about that. You're not pissed off. So skip ahead to the end where you uh, untie Abby and you fight her. And, you know, as you're drowning her, maybe you have the choice of whether or not to kill her or let her live. Because they're trying to go for a forgiveness story here, you know. And you actually care about Abby and you care about her friends now. But you're also pissed off because Joel's dead and you're sad because Joel's dead. Whereas before, I feel if they had given players the choice that 99% of people would have just killed Abby. I mean, I would have. And, you know, everybody would have replayed it just to see what happened if you didn't kill Abby. But everybody would have killed Abby. All right, that's it. That's what I got. I'm not going to go super in-depth to this and pick the hell out of it. Um, obviously, they could have had a lot more with Joel and Ellie in the game. You know, uh, they could have had more with Ellie and Tommy, too, for that matter. You know, I think it would have been cool if when Ellie went to uh, went to Washington, if she had traveled with Tommy. And then, you know... 
Tommy could have told her stories about Joel and they could have talked about it a bit. And I think there's even a note in the journal that Ellie wrote where uh, she said Dina says it would help to talk about what happened to Joel. But, you know, she never does. All right, but that's the end of the video today. Uh, I got a short one for you. Uh, let me know down below what you think of this video and what you think uh, about my ideas for part two. You think if they would have worked, if they would have not have worked. Uh, and I'll talk to you all later.